C'est la fin, c'est la fin du régime d'Ibega. Les militaires de la danse, c'est la fin du régime. Hey, hello guys, welcome back. Now, earlier this morning, I posted an update to you guys informing you about a coup that had happened in Mali and that in fact the president Bubaka Keita had decided to resign peacefully without any form of resistance. Still, 13 hours later, I see a number of you guys still confused about what in fact was happening in Mali. So I've just decided to give you guys a brief of what I know that has happened in Mali so far. Let's dive into it. Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis Pet. First, there were this report, the presidential villa being run over by military personnel and the president and other high-ranking government officials, including the country's prime minister, being taken into custody by the military. The military coup was in fact led by a 25-year-old colonel Malik Diaw. Then later on that day, about midnight West African time, the president decided to announce his official resignation and other duties mandated to him by the country's constitution. Rahim, chers compatriotes, Maliens et Maliens. Dear compatriots, Malians, soldiers, sub officers, officers, superior officers, general officers of the Malian army. For seven years, I've had the happiness and the joy to try and redress this country as best as I could, because since the beginning, since my first mission as head of government of this country, I am convinced that fabulous efforts were needed to give back life to the Malian army. I think every moment has its truth. Today, after weeks of turbulence, there has been arrest from which, unfortunately, there have been victims, to whom I pay tribute, and I have never wished for this. Everyone in this country knows it. Today, if this had to happen according to some members of the army by their intervention, then do I have any choice? I will comply because I wish no blood to be shed to keep me in power. That is why, while I thank the Malian nation for accompanying me in these past few years, for their warmth and affection, I have decided to quit my post from this moment, with all the legal consequences, the, the dissolution of the National Assembly and the government. May Allah help and bless Mali. I do not feel any hate towards anyone. My love for my country does not allow me to. God save us. Thank you. Merci. So here are some of the few reasons I managed to find out why these people decided to overthrow the Mali president. One is because the president is backed by the French government and there was this high rate of corruption in the country. and. There was also this threat of Boko Haram militia in Mali. Now, for those people who say that the country was backed by the France government, here's one of the reasons that they managed to give. And in fact, I wrote it down. So it said that Mali has got 50 gold mines, but zero gold reserves, but it still produces 850 tons of gold a year with zero reserves. On the other hand, France has got zero gold mines and is the fourth largest gold reserve in the world with a total of 2,436 tons of gold. So the question is, where does France get its gold? So far, France has joined ECOWAS in condemning this particular coup of a democratically elected president. Aside from condemning this coup d'etat, ECOWAS has also come out to call for the sanctions of this military-led government and has also decided to close all borders for trade with 
Mali. But it's also important to remember that these military who took over power have said that they will not hold to power so long and in fact they will call for an election for another democratically elected president. Yeah, that's the latest update on this Mali situation. What do you guys think? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say in the section below and share. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new and want more videos like this. Until next time, stay safe. Merci.